What it does is it looks at the life cycle carbon intensity of all transportation fuels. Everything from procuring the raw materials, moving it to a conversion facility, converting it into a fuel, moving it to market, and putting it in, in vehicles. And it looks at the full life cycle carbon intensity for that entire cycle. And what it says is, it sets a target every year for the average life cycle carbon intensity of all transportation fuels. And over time, that target decreases by blending in alternative fuels, whether they're biofuels or electricity or hydrogen or, or renewable natural gas you'll get a cleaner and cleaner portfolio of fuels as, as time goes by. And the way it works is everybody who sells fuels, particularly conventional fuels in the market, they have to report how many you know, million gallons of gasoline and diesel. And then they compare the carbon intensity of that conventional fuel to the target. And they figure out how many additional tons of greenhouse gases were emitted because those fuels are more carbon intensive than that year's target. They have to then go and make that up.